Not that it's going to the post for those of you who were at the rally last week at 278, uh, there was something with the PTA getting people riled up to uh, protest uh, this, this school. The most important meeting that you need to, to attend is going to be on the 26th. That's going to be the meeting at IS 278. That is going to be the hearing that is going to take place with the Department of Education as well as the Hebrew Language Academy uh, board members, and I would imagine uh, other languages as well. I can tell you that everybody who represents Marine Park, from Luke Finner to Alan Maisel to Martin Lowell, is opposed to putting the charter school in. So that will clear the end. So, So, 
if you want to send a few representatives to, to, to Ed Jaworski's meeting to hear what he has to say, send 10 times out of night to Marty Lewis town hall meeting to let him know how you feel. Because Marty has told me and wrote letters saying he's on my side, but you know what? I think he needs to see us there. Okay, so the next stop is the 21st of the town hall meeting, and then the DOE hearing at the school. Okay, so I, I'm glad that you showed up today. The Civic Association feels the same way you feel. We do not want the charter school here. Okay, so don't think that, that by you coming, it was wasted. I want you to hear what I had to say. I want you to hear some of the meetings. Now, I also got a call from a, a woman named Tanika Miller. She is from the DOE. She's the community, community liaison for charter schools. We proposed a few other locations for the school at the meeting of the HLA and throughout the past. Excuse me, throughout this whole process, we've, we've given them other, other schools that we think might, might fit. Some of them, Maisel, have made a few suggestions also. We got some counters from, from, from the HLA. said, well, you know, we don't know if that's a safe school or if we, we, we recommended that it's. So, do we be punished? Should we be punished because we have a good school? 278, we have to take this down. So, we gave them some suggestions. And I spoke to this to Nathan Miller, and, she, and I told her, I said, listen, you promised, everybody promises that they're going to come in and they're going to only spend a few years here, two years, everybody says two years. I sat down at that meeting and I asked him, you know, where, where are you looking to find the building? Where, where are you getting out? You know, well, you know, we need 25,000 square feet. For those of you who don't know how big 25,000 square feet is, I can't think of a, a room size big enough to describe to you where you can buy 25,000 square feet in Brooklyn in Marine Park, in, in, in Burger Beach, no base, anywhere like that. She told me that when a charter school gets, it gets, it gets approval, okay? Now remember, we're all thinking this is not approved yet, so as far as I know, they haven't been approved completely. I hope not. When, when they get the approval, they have to sign a application stating that they're going to be in a building for X amount of years. On the charter school applications, there's quite a few, there's over 50 applications for that. Out of those 50, there's only a couple, two or three, that actually have limits on it. And this school is one of them. Do I think that that's going to happen get out of the building in two years? No. She assures me that when they sign that application, that they have to stick to it. Now, when you fill a school with kids and you have nowhere to put them, you get them out? Of course not, of course not. If you haven't thought of a place to put the kids yet, and you don't even have a building in mind, can you do it in two years? Of course not. These are the things that they tell us. That's what I'm telling you. So when they tell you at this meeting that we're only going to be there for two years, if, you, know, you need to, to, to think to yourself, am I going to believe that? Is that going to be something that, I, that I'm going to believe? I can tell you that to do construction work is going to take a long time to make that building suitable. So I let her know my gripes. I told her that I would call her back. I'm in contact with her. I recommended two other schools. I was asked not to announce the two schools that I recommended, which I won't yet, because I want to see what happens. But I recommended two other schools, still in the community in the school district 22, but not here. And not for any other reason, because they're better suited schools. And everybody agrees with me that they think that's going to work better. After the two years is up, if, if, if they get to answer anything, they need to move out of the, out of the building. If they can't find a building for them, they have to leave the 22nd district, they have to go elsewhere. That's another thing that I don't know if I believe or not, but this is what I was told. So now you know everything that I know. The next step will be the town hall meeting. Okay, Senator Gold will be there. Um, I've, I've asked him to see if he can get some help from the DOE, uh, the representative from the DOE to talk about charter schools, to talk about anything about this 278 project. I know the phone calls that you're making the 311 are helping because when I called, they said to me, wow, a lot of people called. I said, yeah, good. So those are working. Uh, everybody knows that, that the school at 278 has plans and it does not entertain a charter school. Everybody agrees with that. So the 21st, town hall meeting, let Marty go know exactly how you feel. Show up. The 26th. Okay, give me that. I brought that with me. It's the uh, Kings Bay YMYWHA, 3495 North Avenue. I think it's on the corner of Avenue B. Corner of Avenue B. And it's at 7 o'clock, okay? It's the same day as the Madison Wayne Civic. So if you want to go and, 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 and maybe send a few people to the Madison Wayne Civic, I'm sure I have a welcome you. 
But that's really the next stop.